wrong. The prophets and the saints have all destroyed false idols before. Saint Boniface, for example, the, 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 the prophets in the Old Testament. Christ himself went into the temple and kicked him a fuss inside the temple. So Hatunta, but Hatuntash didn't grab someone else's Quran. She didn't assault someone and then destroy a Quran. What happened last Sunday was that they tried to set a Christian on fire, they assaulted a Christian, they destroyed the property, they stole a Bible, and then they ripped it up. It's a sheer act of supremacism, and what needs to happen is that the two people that are arrested face the full weight of the law. Have you heard what has happened to the persons involved? Because I've already interviewed the doctor and what the doctor has disclosed, and for those watching, we can actually see over my shoulder, there's police in the background, but what has been disclosed is that those gentlemen have been charged with arson and attempted murder. Are you aware of that? Um, I'm not surprised, because trying to set someone on fire is attempted murder. But what I want to say publicly is that it should be, as part of the charge, that it is arson and attempted murder aggravated by religious animus. There should be an extra charge put on those two individuals. That their actions were done as religious hatred and to incite religious hatred. The fact of the matter is, for week after week after week, Christians have been assaulted in this park and the police have allowed it to happen. Christians have been headbutted. Christians have been punched. Christians have been threatened with knife crime and the police have done nothing and they have allowed it to occur week after week after week. But why do you think they are doing nothing or allowing it to occur week after week? Because some people have claimed that the boss, Sadiq, has told them do nothing. Is that true? I, I don't know, is the answer to that question, obviously. However, what I will say is that you can just see the documented evidence. Go and look at the videos of Speaker's Corner. Go and look at the assaults. Go and check the dates. We have documented week after week after week after week after week Muslim harassment, Muslims assaulting, Muslims stealing from Christians. We've reported them to the police. We've took it to the police again and again and again. And the police have simply washed their hands. So let me ask you this question. If the police are refusing to protect us, what options do we have? We protect ourselves. We have to protect ourselves. So the police are creating an environment in which Speaker's Corner, which is a place that's supposed to be about debate, is going to be a place about conflict. The, po the police are allowing Speaker's Corner to degenerate. And they are doing it for one reason and one reason alone. Our liberal elites are scared of Islamists. And we as Christians must not allow our hearts to be filled with fear. Our Lord said, fear no man, for man can only destroy the body. But fear him who, after destroying the body, can also destroy the soul. You should be a Christian. It says in the book of Revelations, the cowards go to hell. There is no place in the Christian faith for fear. And so we cannot allow ourselves to be afraid of the Islamists. So the final question, Bob, because I, I know that you've, you're going to be very busy, but, but earlier on you said you have, something has been planned for today. So can you give us more information about what is being planned? Because I, I was under the impression that what's happening today 
was a direct consequence, yeah, of an incident last week, but you're saying it's not. I'm saying there's more than one thing that's going to be happening in Speaker's <laughs> Corner today. Oh, oh, all right, then. There's two things, at least. And I've helped to plan playing? them both. Oh, oh, so tell us about one thing that is going to be happening today, because one thing I observed on arrival, the Territorial Support Army, not group, army were on site with their blue vans and their riot police. They're in the background. Yeah, we saw I'm, them. I passed their vans down and there. And I've shown people and I've waved at them and I've sent, I've sent some images to a team. So what do you believe? Yeah. Why are so many old Bill down here today? Right. The, the reason why the old Bill are down here today is because the only way you can get the police to do anything these days is to put pressure on them. Week after week, put up your hands if you're a Christian who comes down to the corner on a regular basis. Keep your hand up, keep your hand up if you have gone to the police reporting harassment, harassment or, 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 or reporting an attack. And the police have done nothing. And it resulted last week in yet another murder attempt to set a Christian on fire in this park. And the only time the police or the establishment take any of us seriously is when we put pressure on the elites. How many times did the police ignore about the child grooming gangs in the north of England? Until there were protests in the north of England. The reason why there are police here today is because they know that they, the Christians have organised a protest here today to protest the attempted murder of a Christian in this park last week and the desecration of a Bible. And this is the only way that we will ever achieve justice is to stand up for ourselves through peaceful political activism. Amen. Excellent stuff, Bob. As normal, I look forward to engaging with you later on today and it is going to be an interesting day but all I can say sir as normal thank you very much and you must be the only person at Speaker's Corner who I don't have their phone number. That's correct. <laughs> I like the way you said that. Well done, so, thanks a lot Bob. God bless you. So that's Bob. And, um, Go down, my friend. No worries bro. Top man. Thank you. Thank you. How are we doing brother?